السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي My Lord, expand my chest and ease my task and untie the knot from my tongue so that they may understand my speech Rabbi zidni ilma my lord increase me in my knowledge Allahumma faqihna fi ad-deen O oh Allah make us understand the religion make us understand this deen Allahumma amin Dear children how are you all doing today we hope that you all are in the best state of iman and health May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep you all protected and grant you all the goodness of both worlds. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for you to learn and understand the Qur'an and to follow the Qur'an in your lives. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make you all the best sadaqah jariya for your parents. Allahumma ameen. So our today's ayah is ayah number 37 of Surah Al-Baqarah. Let us first go through it's word to word translation. A'udhu billahi min ash shaytanir rajeem. Fatalaqa then received or learned Adamu Adam alayhi salam min from Rabbihi his Lord kalimatin words fataba so his Lord turned alayhi towards him innahu indeed he huwa he tawabu is the oft returning to mercy meaning acceptor of repentance rahim the always merciful a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim fatalaqa adam mir rabbihi kalimatin fataba alayh innahu huwa tawwabur rahim then learned Adam from his Lord words of inspiration and his Lord turned towards him for he is oft returning most merciful. Adam alayhi salam learned the words of forgiveness from his Lord and he asked for forgiveness from his Lord which Allah accepted from him because Allah is the most forgiving and most merciful. Adam alayhi salam did not intend to disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. After spending a lot of time, Adam and Hawa alayhi salam had forgotten the promise they made with Allah and came into the tricks of shaitan and ate the fruit of the forbidden tree. Due to this mistake, their clothes came off. When Adam alayhi salam realized his mistake, he got worried and he couldn't think of how to ask for forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knew his restlessness because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows what is in our hearts and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is most forgiving and most merciful. Therefore, Allah taught Adam alayhi salam the prayer to ask for forgiveness. Therefore, in this ayah, it is being said, فَتَلَقَّ آدَمُ مِنْ رَبِّهِ كَلِمَاتٍ فَتَابَ عَلَيْهِ Then, Adam alayhi salam learned the words of forgiveness from his Lord, through which Adam alayhi salam asked Allah for forgiveness. Therefore, Allah accepted his repentance. The word of this dua of forgiveness is given in Surah Al-A'raf, ayah number 23. Let us all read that dua once. Rabbana zalamna anfusana wa illam taghfir lana wa taruhamna lanakunanna min al-khasirin. Our Lord, we have wronged our souls. If you forgive us not and bestow not upon us your mercy, we shall certainly be lost. By teaching this dua, Allah has taught us 
that whenever we come in the tricks of shaitan or by forgetting we make a mistake or do a sin then immediately we should sincerely ask allah for forgiveness and we should repent for our mistakes repentance does not require you to have some special prayer special word or special language instead for repentance you need to have a feeling of guilt a feeling of doing wrong this means one should be ashamed of what he has done and should have a feeling of guilt and regret that he has done a great mistake and that he will never repeat it again the intention of not repeating the mistake is very necessary it's very important cry to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness because we all know that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very merciful and he is the acceptor of repentance do you know children if we repent or make dua using the prayers and supplications which allah and our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has taught us then there are more chances of acceptance of our duas this is also very important that we ask from allah directly we should never ask from anyone else other than allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we should never go to the grave ask the dead person or make duas to saints or pious people no this is not the way that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has taught to us and this is an acceptable and when we make such duas to these people our duas will never be answered so we should only ask from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also supplications are accepted after good deeds for example after doing a sadaqa after reciting quran make dua to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala insha allah it is more likely that your duas will get accepted so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted the supplication the dua of adam alayhi salam at the end of this ayah it is being said innahu huwa at-tawwab ar-rahim indeed he he is the acceptor of repentance and always merciful this means that there is no doubt that allah is the acceptor of the repentance and allah is merciful again and again allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted the repentance of adam alayhi salam and sent adam and hawa alayhi salam from jannah to the earth this is also allah's wisdom and decision that allah created man not to be in jannah but to settle down on the earth so what do we learn from this ayah that whenever we do any mistake whenever we sin our next immediate action should be the repentance we should ask forgiveness from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to the straight path and make us of those who seek repentance from him and make dua only to him allahumma amin subhanaka allahumma wa bihamdika نشهد ان لا اله الا انت نستغفرك ونتوب اليك والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته